Okay, question number 10. Getting quite far through the paper now. It says work out the value of this. Well, let's work at each bit individually. The square root of 25 is 5, because 5 times 5 is 25, or 5 squared gets us to 25. We need to multiply that by the cube root of 64. Well, that's something times something times itself again has got to equal 64. So when we get back, the cube root must be this number on its own. And that's 4, because 4 times 4 is 16, and that times 4 is 64. So if we've got that, any one of those answers, that's a mark. But you've actually then got to do it, 5 times 4 is 20, for the second mark. Write down the answer value of 9 squared. Well, the value of 9 squared is just 9 times 9, which is 81. This one's a bit trickier. It asks us for the, the sum of the squares of two odd numbers. And it wants to tell us whether it's always odd, always even, or whether it could be odd or even. Well, let's try some. So we've got a square two odd numbers. So let's try 3 squared plus 5 squared. That makes it 3 times 3 is 9. 5 times 5 is 25. That adds up to 34. So that's even. So it's definitely not this one. It's definitely not that one. Because it's not always odd. Because we've shown it's even. So it can't always be odd. Now, it's whether it's sometimes or whether it's always. And let's have a little think about it. An odd number times by an odd number is going to always mean that this number, the first number here, is odd. Same thing for the other square. It's going to be an odd times an odd, which is also going to make another odd number overall. So you're always going to have to do some odd number plus some odd number, no matter what you start with. As long as these first two are odd, you're always going to have an odd plus an odd once you've squared them. Okay, so an odd plus an odd is always an even. So it's got to be this middle box here. Now, I think the first part, A and B, were probably okay. Well, this last bit here is quite a bit tricky. So you maybe uh, watch this bit back or, or look it up in your revision guide. Look up for odd and for even numbers.